Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. Now let's go through another use case of LangChain. What if you can chat with any CSV, right? I created a video earlier about chat with any PDF and for a small channel like this, there were more than 27,000 views. But what I decided is to create a simple stream lead app where you can upload your CSV and then have conversation with the CSV. But now we are using LangChain. Because before we don't know what was used behind the scene, right? There was open AI, chat GPT kind of things. But now we know after the lang chain, it helps us create the cool apps out of it. By the way, I'm planning to create many videos, many educational videos. If you want to get notified, please be subscribed. Now let's go and see how we can create the similar application that you are seeing on the screen chat with any CSV. How it works, you can just click the link. You can upload the a csv file and then we can just say how many rows and it will show us how many rows are there in that particular csv for example let's say there is 1309 let's get started okay so now let's go and see what are the necessary pieces right first you need to create the virtual environment and install the necessary package here is the all the words all the necessary packages i will actually provide the link to the github so you will know what to do I have already created the virtual environment. If I just show you here, I'm inside this particular folder and chat CSV, it is already being created for me. And then there is this secret SATUML file. I will show you this now, although I have the API key because I'm going to revoke this anyway. You need to provide the API key inside this secret SATUML file. Yeah, that is the thing. And then there is the app and there is the utils. Let's go through the utils first. What we need to do first is, of course, import the necessary packages, right? Here I have imported many things, but the main thing here is that you need to have the agents from the LangChain, right? From LangChain.agents, we are importing the create CSP agent. I will show you the create CSP agent first, and then I will also show you how you can do with this Pandas data frame agent also. So, and then I need to have the large language model. In this case, I'm using the open AI. Let me run this code first. When I run this code, it fires our interactive Jupyter notebook environment. Now what next? We need to create an agent, right? Agent create CSV agent and I pass the last language model and there is the file that means the CSV file. Barbos equals to false. I don't want it to display anything. Now I want to have the answer back. That is agent.run and I pass the a query, right? When I pass the query, and I want the answer back. I save this file. And now I need to have the next file that is app.py. What is in the app.py? I'm just importing the function that I just created here, get answer CSV in the app.py. And now I'm creating the stream lead app, right? I have the header chat with any CSV and the uploaded file because we need to upload the file, right? It will be st.file uploads. And this is just upload a CSV file and the type will be CSV. And if uploaded file is not known, meaning that if there is uploaded something, what we want to do is the query, right? The st.text area, ask any questions related to the document. And the button, we need to click the button, submit, then it will submit the query into the large language model. And if button, then we can just say stream light dot write and then get answer csv and we have the uploaded file and the query that's all if i just save this what i need to do now is just open the terminal and i can just run stream lead run app.py when i run the command it will open this in your local host now it says chat with any csv upload a csv file you can just upload the csv file titanic csv and now you can say how many columns are there. Let's say, let's say how many columns are there. You can just type this. And if you just click the submit, it will go through the CSV and show us how many columns are there. Okay, there are 28 columns. And you can even go and say, what is the data set about? And let me submit this. Let me see it provide because I haven't provided any information about what the data set is, right? The data set is about passengers on a ship. It went through the CSV file and then find that, okay, that is something related to passengers on a ship because this is the Titanic data set. 
Yeah, you can ask as many questions as you want into this. We can even say that how many passengers have siblings, right? If I submit this, it is going through the CSV file and then it will provide that how many passengers, okay, 653 passengers have the siblings. This is how it works because although we are uploading the CSV file, behind the scene it is using the Pandas agent. Now we know it works properly, right? I will also show you now the next how we can run this not in the app but in the notebook or VS code itself that we get the answers right in the VS code not in the uh, UI like this. Okay, why I am showing you this is because when you create the applications you will first test it locally and then only you will deploy, right? For that what I need to have is we I need to have the open AI key here for the local development. Let me run this line. Now I have the open AI API key which takes it takes from the secrets file. Now let me go here and before I was passing the CSV file but now let me just read the CSV because I have uploaded the same Titanic CSV file here. What I'm going to do here is with the data frame as DF I'm going to run pd.readcsp Titanic CSV. Now it reads the data set. Now let me just read the CSV file itself, right? If I type df, then I can actually go here and see that, okay, there is 1309 rows, 28 columns and so on, right? There is already the shape for me here. I'm using the data frame, not the file, right? What I can do here is I can just comment this and then uncomment the next line, which here, what I'm passing here is agent equals to create pandas data frame agent before we were creating the CSV agent, right? create pandas data frame agent we pass the large language model as open ai's model and then we pass the data frame instead of file now if i run this line now it says okay agent is being created now i can ask questions inside the vs code itself because before i showed you how you can do in the ui right but when you are developing you will be going one by one and seeing what kind of things you are doing right now what i can do is here is the query i have okay control z here is the query that I have already created. How many rows are there in the CSV file? Because I just want to give you the example. What I can do is I can run the query and then I can pass that query into this particular agent. Uh, instead of returning in the function, I can now just highlight this part here. And if I run this line here, it is going to run the query for me. As you can see here, it is loading. And now it says here there are 1309 rows in the CSV file. What other questions do you want to ask here? I see that there is the age column here, right? Let us ask one, one question related to age. Instead of how many rows are there, I can pass here. What's the square root of the average age? Meaning that it needs to go first and find the age and then the average age, right? If I run this command, it says that, okay, what's the average, what's the square root of the average age? And now if I select this particular code and if I run this, it is now going to again do the query for me and it shows us the average age first and then the square root of that average is right it's, it's still calculating let's see okay the, the square root is 5.43 this is how you can quickly interact with the large language model yeah that's all for this video it was just a short video where i just want to show you that langchain helps you create so much powerful things and here i just provided the csv file but this is the pandas data frame, right? You can even pass JSON, Excel file and other different kinds of file into the data frame. And then we can query into the data frame with the large language model. Let me know if you want me to create some other videos related to this. But I'm actually exploring the line chain documentation and it's actually fun to create useful videos. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.